happy Friday. We are kicking off another vlog. I've been doing some thinking and I think I might, if you saw my last vlog, I like started it on a Friday, barely vlogged anything that day, which is gonna kind of be the same as this video, but then had a bunch of clips of my weekend, wrapped it up on like a Monday, Tuesday with some little chats and such. And I feel like that's a system I could stick with. Do we like it? Do we like that vlog? Do we like this vlog? Let me know in the comments because I'm trying to think of like, trying to think of a way that I can get consistent with like, with vlogging and not just wait until like I'm not super busy with work or like when I'm not off like with a bunch of social plans that I don't want to fully vlog. And so I think the solution could be kind of like Brooke Michio does this kind of, she's she's my favorite vlogger. I, I watch her all the time. <laughs> also like sweating right now, just outside and it's like, 85 degrees right now. She does kind of like week in my life type videos and I think maybe I'll do that. That way there's not like pressure to get like a ton of footage, like a full day's vlog in one day. My days are just so different and so much busier lately. I'm like dating someone and then just like work's been really picking up and busy, which is amazing. So let me know what you think of that idea. Just like getting snippets of clips throughout like my week or however many days and trying to basically, I think my goal, I wanna to try to get one vlog up a week. If you like that, let me know. We're gonna do a little like get ready chat. At the moment, I just went to Starbucks. Um, what I've been getting lately is a shaken espresso. Um, it's also 4 p.m. we're kicking this off. <laughs> I've just been um, working. This has been the busiest work week, literally, but I, but the good news is I'm about to be so consistent with main channel videos. I'm not gonna post instead of on the 4th of July because most people are gonna be busy. Um, I'm moving that video up to June 30th, so coming up soon, probably already when this vlog goes up. I had like two main channel videos in the past week. One was trying um, Daisy Keach's eight minute ab routine for two weeks and showing the results from that. And then the second video was my trying journaling for 30 days video. So I really like that one. It was a really busy week. And I've planned out my July videos. I'm actually gonna be traveling a lot of July. All that said, what was I, what was the point of, I don't know how I got on that, but I'm tired and it's four o'clock. <laughs> and we are drinking a second coffee of the day. However, to be fair, the coffee I've been drinking in the mornings, it's not cutting it. It's like the Trader Joe's cold brew kind that also comes in like the smallest bottle of all time if you have had it, like hardly any in there at all. So here we are doing a really fast get ready at the moment to kick off the weekend. I'm about to head to my friend Britt's house or apartment downtown. She has a pool and then we're gonna do like, cause it's so warm, I think we're just gonna like swim, grill, hang out, nothing too crazy. Hoping not to have too late of a night. And some other fun we can plan. Tomorrow at Rumble is their like pride day. So all of the proceeds from all of their classes tomorrow go to the Trevor Project, which is cool. So I'm getting a ton of my friends to go. We're gonna have such a squad. People who've never been to Rumble. Most of like the girls I hang out with now go to this competing boxing studio called Box Union, which I tried it. I do prefer Rumble. Tried to go into it with an open mind. I'm sure they're all gonna try Rumble on Saturday and prefer Box Union, like that's totally fine. I'm excited because I normally just go alone most of the time. Now I'm gonna have such a big squad. Tomorrow night I'm going to on a little comedy show date night. I found, I think through TikTok, this company in LA that does these like secret comedy shows. So you buy tickets that are like $25 each, I think, and you know like the general location but you don't know like the exact address until the day of so it's like random venues or like homes or just like whatever and you don't know who's performing either so i'm assuming i mean i don't really know anything about comedy i'm assuming these are like little fresh nobodies <laughs> which i'm fine with but um it could be like a very famous comedian now i have absolutely no idea it's like a byob situation i'll try to have the name of that on screen if you live in la because i think that's such a just like cool idea just new fun activities <laughs> so i'm looking forward to that it's like a general weekend synopsis it's been a really good week i feel so just like productive and on top of things let me know in the comments how your week has been i genuinely truly love to hear from you guys it makes vlogging like 10 times more fun for me i need to be hustling my way out of here also i just like ran in an urban outfitters trying to buy more disposable cameras they don't sell them anymore or was mine just out the girl like looked at me like i was an idiot and i asked where they were because they weren't they used to have a whole wall covered <laughs> and like multiple brands of disposable cameras that is now not there anymore and the girl acted like it literally never existed and i was like okay well apparently they don't have those anymore got through half half the half the hair curled <laughs> kicking off the weekend i'm in a great mood <laughs> i'm excited i also just got a little package from stella for the summer this is their new solstice lager i'm excited to try it very very light as we see um i'm a big stella fan so yeah this is their summer beer yeah. Go back up too.
Happy Monday, unflattering like interrogation lighting going on right now um, <laughs> from the parking garage. I just pulled into Rumble. I'm going to um, take a quick class that I wasn't planning on taking today. I kind of have a lot of work for the week that I would kind of planned out to knock out a good amount of today. And I feel as though we're just going to not do a ton today because I'm kind of just in a bad mood or just like feeling down. I don't really know. Kind of the same stuff I talked about in my last vlog. So I thought we would go to boxing today. Obviously, it's good for you physically, but like I know that obviously working out reduces, reduces, <laughs> releases. Hopefully it ain't reducing. Release endorphins. <laughs> and I just want a little mood boost today. I had a good weekend. I have some fun things coming up tonight. I'll share about a little bit later. But I just wanted to come come work out. So that's what I'm doing. Hope all of you guys had a great weekend. Let me know in the comments what you did this weekend. If you haven't seen my last vlog, I will have it linked here. And if you're new to my channel, I would love if you would subscribe. So if you haven't heard, I am trying boxing for 30 days again. I did this a couple years ago. So I'm like a week into that challenge. <laughs> Got myself a little mint chocolate chip smoothie. Back from boxing. Did not make my bed this morning. <laughs> Need to do that, but on such a Monday note, I packed my water and left it in the car. Didn't realize it until I was like walking into the classroom. So I didn't have time to like go back, so I had to buy one. It is what it is, such a waste of money. Like literally my water's in the car, but what can you do? Happy Monday. Also during the warm up or like the pre-class, whatever, where they like teach you the punches at boxing, um, the instructor was playing Shining by Beyonce and DJ Khaled and Jay-Z and I could not get out of my head. I'm gonna just listen to it on repeat on the drive home. So what's up next? I'm now about to shower. It's like comfortable outside today. It's not too hot. Over the weekend we had some ridiculous heat. So maybe I'll do a little work outside. I did like a little exfoliating scrub this morning. My skin is feeling so smooth right now. It's now a bit later. It's like four o'clock and I'm doing a quick get ready with me. I almost said for a date night. I guess it's not really date night. It's for, it's like a very early celebration for my girlfriend's birthday that one of her best friends planned. So we, she thinks we're going to a rooftop bar downtown. We're actually going to the Dodgers game, which she'll be surprised about and it'll be fun. And it's just gonna be a great night. So I'm excited. Fun Monday, you know, a, a good little weekday activity. <laughs> but what I was coming on here to ask, that smoothie I got earlier, I don't know what was in that, but I am so bloated, my stomach it's literally to here and like full of air like even when I try to like suck it in to like a more normal spot like I can't it is full of air it is hard it hurts I'm so uncomfortable potentially the most bloated I've ever been and it's just like the worst feeling <laughs> and in the smoothie it was all like whole foods and things I eat like frequently except for protein powder and I feel like in the past when I make smoothies with protein powder even at home like I feel slightly bloated but like never to this nature has this happened to you and is there a protein powder that doesn't do it? Not that I need protein powder that badly. I mean, I don't at all, but it was just in like the little smoothie I got, whatever. And it is, it's terrible. This sucks. <laughs> yeah, I'm now about to go. Apparently put on my loosest jeans because this is, has never happened to me like this. And it is just like, it's crazy. I truly like feel for people who have like, what is it like? I don't know if it's IBS or like what? I see people on TikTok. Maybe it's TikTok trying to tell me that I have this. I don't know. Doing my makeup, I also am so overdue for a haircut. If you live in the LA area and you know anywhere to get your haircut, if you have a recommendation that's not a million dollars, please let me know. Um, ever since I've moved here three and a half years ago, I still get my haircut by my lady at home in North Carolina every time or like whenever I'm in town because she charges me $20, <laughs> which I assume I will never be able to find here at any kind of trusted establishment. But um, the times I've been home, I just haven't, been, it's been like weekends and stuff and I haven't been able to coordinate with her. So my hair is now, when it's curled, it like looks okay, but it is dead from like here down. camera 
I did not, but I'm heading out the door. It's not even 8, okay, it's 8 a.m. on the dot, and I decided today I'm gonna go on a hike because that's something I used to do when I would like feel my best. I was going on hikes a lot. Usually it's sunset, but now that it's summer, it's too hot for that. So we're gonna go on a little hike, come back, kick off our day nice and early, feeling good, yay. <laughs> much later in the day, I just woke up from a nap and then I just did the quickest get ready of my life and I'm hopping on a call in two minutes with Pop Sugar. I'm doing some cool stuff for them. I'll explain after because I need to pull up the call details. The call went well, basically, I'm like kind of hosting some Instagram stories for them that are, are gonna go up at the end of July on the Pop Sugar home Instagram about like how to style a bar cart. So I'm filming that Friday and that was just like a little pre-production call. Then I sat out on my patio and journaled for literally an hour. I've just been so stressed. I mean, like deep down stressed, I don't know. I'm gonna kick off the next vlog because I'm gonna start vlogging in tomorrow for another week. I have just a lot of thoughts. I feel like I had some realizations, some good realizations during that, but I've just been basically, I feel like I've been having so much fun and doing so much stuff, but I've been in a constant like deep state of exhaustion for a few weeks now, as well as I'm just over socialized and need to start prioritizing more alone time, which was one of my realizations. But I'm gonna kick off the next vlog with like a full thorough chat on just like where I'm at lately, a lot of thoughts um, and just things I personally am like learning, definitely in like a growing time at the moment. I just showered after I journaled and I am heading out the door to go to my girlfriend's house. She's cooking dinner. Yeah, I'll have some clips of that and that's just gonna be the end of this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. All my recent main channel videos are gonna be linked below. I just posted that 30 days of journaling video, which clearly I am continuing because um, I really needed that today. But that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next vlog.